everyone, I'm professional photographer Ian Plant, and if there's one question I get asked more than just about any other is, Ian, how do you pack for an international photo trip? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how. I'm getting ready to go on a trip to Madagascar. I'm gonna be doing a mix of wildlife and landscape photography, so I'm gonna show you what's going in the camera bag and how I pack all of my essential gear. So if you wanna learn more, stay tuned. Okay, the idea for this video came from one of my pro members in our exclusive pro membership forum, just one of the many benefits of a pro membership here on Photomasters. And this particular member wanted to know how I pack for an international photo trip. And it just so happens I've got an international photo trip to Madagascar coming up. And so this was the perfect opportunity for me to film something to show you guys exactly how I pack all of my critical camera gear. And so in Madagascar, I'm gonna be doing mostly wildlife, probably some landscape as well. So it's gonna be a mix of both. And I've learned over the years to travel as light as possible. You know, as time goes on, airlines have more and more restrictions on what you can bring on the plane. And so a smaller, lighter camera bag is always a good idea. And of course, you wanna make sure that you're not packing any super expensive or critical gear in your checked luggage. So let's start off with my checked luggage. For years, I was using suitcases and I would spend a lot of money to get some really nice high-end suitcases. They were all supposed to last forever. And without exception, over a few years, they would just start breaking and cracking. They really didn't hold up to the abuse. So I finally gave in and got a Pelican case. Pelican has got a line of cases that they call their air cases. And these are the Pelican materials, but slightly lighter. And so the case itself doesn't weigh that much. A lot of Pelican cases can be very heavy. And this is their biggest case that is designed basically to be a checked luggage bag. And so it's pretty roomy on the inside. And so I pack a lot of my travel accessories in here. So clothing and other things like that. Also any non-critical photography accessories, anything that I can live without will go into my checked bag but anything that I can't live without, anything that I absolutely need for a photo shoot goes in my carry-on, goes in my camera bag. So let's start off. What am I packing here from Madagascar? Well, I've got my primary camera, Sony a7R IV, and uh, right now attached to it is a Sony 12 to 24 millimeter lens. And I'm gonna be including links to all of these items in the description that goes with this video. And this is my workhorse for landscape photography. And so I'm bringing that along. That'll go right here in the bag. And my backup camera, though, in this particular case, is actually probably gonna be my primary camera is my Sony A7 IV. And this is optimized more for wildlife. And right now I've got Tamron's 35 to 150 millimeter lens on this. I'm gonna be using this lens a lot, I think, in Madagascar. It's gonna be a real workhorse for me because there's a lot of wildlife that gets relatively close. And so having a zoom that starts off kind of at a wide angle and then zooms into a short telephoto is gonna be really useful. This is an F2 to F2.8 lens, so it's actually really fast and bright as well. So it's gonna be great for wildlife photography. So that's gonna go right in the bag as well. And then for telephoto work, when I need to zoom in more for distant landscape scenes, or for wildlife, I've got my Tamron 150 to 500. Another really nice lens. This is gonna be perfect for when I need a little extra reach. And these two cameras and these three lenses actually aren't that heavy. They don't take up a huge amount of space. I'm also gonna bring my travel tripod. This is my PhotoPro X Aircross 2 tripod. This weighs two pounds. Normally I pack my tripod in my check luggage, but there's been all sorts of news reports recently about luggage getting delayed or not arriving at the final destination. And this Aircross 2 is a travel tripod that only weighs two pounds. I've got a review on this tripod, you can check it out. And uh, it's so lightweight and so small and portable that I hardly notice I'm carrying it, so I'm actually gonna bring that into my carry-on bag. And then I've got some other accessories that are really critical. I'll be bringing flash, and I've got some flash accessories, including a flash bracket. And um, I've also got a small LED light panel, and I'm gonna use this for photographing wildlife in Madagascar. So this is all going to go into my carry-on bag. Uh, I've got a slave unit as well. Flash is really critical 
for doing wildlife photography. It's a great way to add a little bit of fill light if your subject is in shadow, and it also can be used to add a little bit of a catch light to your subject's eye. So this is all very important equipment that is going to go with me into my carry-on bag. Uh, this will probably just go in the back here. And then in addition to that, I've just got some accessories like lens cloths and some alcohol wipes to clean my lenses just in case they get dirty and a spare battery for my cameras. And then that is ready to go. That bag actually closes down to be pretty small. It's uh, just sized perfectly for an overhead bin and probably weighs only about 15 pounds, maybe at the most, somewhere between 10 and 15 with all this stuff in there. I'm also gonna carry on a uh, separate bag, a handbag for my computer and for my iPad and for miscellaneous travel gear. Two things I always bring with me on any international flights, especially if it's a red-eye flight overnight, earplugs. Always a good idea to bring a bunch of earplugs when you're traveling, uh, whether you are on a noisy plane trying to get some sleep or you're in a noisy hotel or you've got a companion, uh, a photo buddy that you're traveling with who snores, earplugs will save your life. And then a neck brace for the long flight. Always great to have one of these. It makes sleeping on a plane so much more comfortable. And always, always, always bring with me some sun protection. If I'm going somewhere sunny like Madagascar is, so I'm gonna have a hat that I'll be bringing along as well. That will go into my check luggage. And there's one more critical piece of gear that I always bring with me on any photo trip that goes into my carry-on bag. I'm not gonna share it with you today because it's a very personal and intimate piece of gear. It's a spare pair of underwear. Always bring a spare pair of underwear with you because if your bags do get delayed, you might be on location for a day or maybe several days without any clean clothes. And so having a clean pair of underwear with you is something that will make your life much more manageable if that happens. All right, well that pretty much sums it all up. This is how I pack my essential photo gear for international travel. You'll notice that I keep things as light and portable as possible. I don't wanna get weighed down by a ton of gear and luggage, but I also wanna make sure that all of my essential photo gear is in a carry-on bag so I can have it with me at all times. That will minimize the risk of it getting lost, stolen, or mislaid. And there's nothing worse than showing up to a really great international photo destination. It's a trip of a lifetime. You spend a lot of money to get there and then your gear just poof, vanishes, it's gone. You're not gonna get those amazing shots that you came for. So if you pack the right way, you can ensure that your gear is with you and that you can make the photos that you've always dreamed of taking. I'm Ian Plant and thanks for watching.